Hi, my name is David Burnett. I've been a photojournalist for about 50 years. I had a summer job with Time Magazine as an intern in 1967. Went to the White House to see Lyndon Johnson a couple of times. Last week I was at the White House again. And honestly, I can tell you that you can't believe how quickly 50 years can go by. All of that time I've been working as a magazine photographer. 43 years ago we started Contact Press Images, a small agency still operating in New York City. And I still work today taking pictures, some magazines, some work I'm just doing on my own, but I'm still working as a photographer after all these years. 40 years ago, 40 years ago this month actually, January of 1978, I packed up all my Nikons into a couple of bags and I went to Boston to E.P. Levine, which was then the biggest uh, camera store in, Bo in the Boston area. And I traded all my Nikon gear for Canons, brand new Canon F1s and AE1s and then later EFs, and eventually uh, cameras like the wonderful old T90. What a great 35 millimeter camera this was. I like the fact that the Canon lenses were so good, the cameras operated when you wanted them to operate, and it was really, uh, it was a great run. But now, after 40 years, I'm making a change. I've been trying for the last uh, eight months or so, I've been trying out the new Sony cameras, the A9 and uh, in particular and the 6500. This little guy is great. And I've decided to swap all my Canon gear out and go with the Sony's. It's the new technology, the, the, uh, the cameras have a, a lot of things going for them which cameras never did before. They, um, there's no mirror. It's a mirrorless camera so there's no mirror. The cameras are a little thinner than the older cameras that needed to have space to swing a mirror up and down. And so you can use all of your old legacy lenses. Like I've got a lot of old glass that's even older than I am, amazingly enough. Like this 50 millimeter Ectanon, which will fit on the 6500. And this honking old 180 2.5 Ingenue, which with an adapter ring on it will go on the A7R3 or the A9. They're, um, the Sony glass is actually pretty amazing. I have this 5518 Zeiss lens that is just the sharpest, uh, crispest 50 millimeter lens that I've ever shot with. And believe me, I've been around a lot of 50 millimeter lenses in my time. But I really love the, uh, the files that come out of this camera and the fact that um, you can shoot on the A A9, you can shoot 20 frames a second. I do a lot of sports work. I'm heading out in February to cover the Winter Games in Korea and really looking forward to trying to see all those moments that I was missing before. You know, I, I did a lot, of sh a lot of sports shooting. You just have to shoot one frame at a time. Go for that one moment. But when you're up to 20 frames a second, it gives you a little bit more of a cushion to make a mistake or to get that mistake out of the way and make a great picture. Anyway, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm shooting with the, the A9. I've got a number of the Sony lenses, and I've also got a lot of my uh, uh, older Canon uh, EOS and FD lenses that with adapters will fit on here. The, I'm a big fan, as you might know, of the tilt shift lenses that Canon made. Did a lot of work with those, and those, they're manual lenses, so they don't even have a question of uh, you know, autofocus or not. It's a manual lens but with an adapter ring on the Sony, it's like they were made for each other. And with the A7R 3 42 megapixels, I mean, that is so huge. That's like two and a half times bigger than anything I've ever shot before. So, yeah, you need bigger hard drives, that's for sure. But the files are absolutely sublime. The pictures look great. And this is, I have to say, I kind of feel like I'm really finally stepping into the 21st century with these cameras. Looking forward to... Um, to making the jump and uh, you know if you're going to be in Korea I'll see you there thanks